Hey guys, welcome to another episode of A Shot of Ruby. And in this episode and the next few episodes of this series, A Shot of Ruby, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the N plus one problem. Now in this episode, I'm going to be introducing you guys to the N plus one problem and what it is and how we can find out if your app has N plus one issue. So um, let's get started. Now uh, I'm going to head into the code here and I'll tell you a bit about the setup that I've got over here. Basically what I've got here is just I'm rendering out a, a bunch of posts and I've got this category.all. And I'll explain how it all works together in just a sec. So I'm gonna head into to the model and what I have here is a many to many between tags and posts. So tag has many taggings and uh, has many tags through taggings. Uh, post also belongs to category. Uh, so basically it's just a one to many relationship, a basic one to many relationship. And tag uh, belongs to posts as well, uh, well has many posts as well, excuse me. Uh, so basically this is just a many to many relationship. Whenever you have a many to many relationship and generally in the indexed action, uh, when you try to render out a bunch of posts and then you have, uh, let me head back to the browser here, you know, a bunch of tags and then you're counting how many posts each tag has and all that kind of stuff, uh, you're gonna, you know, you, there's a high chance that you run into an N plus one issue. What does N plus one look like? Well, the easiest way to tell is if you look at your console and it looks something like this, uh, in your Rails S, and when you run your Rails server, and it looks something like this, you're suffering from N plus one, right? Basically, um, so what I've done here is I've uh, added, uh, you know, a thousand posts over here. Now I'm just rendering out 10, so it starts from zero, one to nine. But uh, I have uh, about a thousand posts in here, and as I increase the amount of posts that I'm rendering in this page, you'll see this particular number go up, this active record. Now, ideally, you don't want this number to be too high because you know this is the number that Rails application is spending in the database. The lower this number is, the better. All right, so I'm gonna head over into the controller and I'm gonna increase this number into 100 and I'm gonna render the page again. So rendering 100 items in one go uh, is not, you know, it's not outrageous. It's pretty s standard. I mean, sometimes, you know, you render, you, you load like a lot of stuff when you have a lot of search results, you need to render a hundred so you can let people scroll down or, and then you do pagination after that. So as you see, this number goes up as I increase the number. It's, you know, it's, it's gone up from 20 to 86. Now, if I reload that again, uh, it might be a little bit less or a little bit more, uh, you know, generally you have to take average. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it gets higher. Um, you know, it, it gets higher as you increase the number of posts you're rendering. Uh, it is trying to do some caching here. Uh, so, you know, Active Record is trying to be smart and trying to help us do some caching. But nonetheless, this is not a good sign of scaling. If you want an app that is scalable, you do not want to have this sort of stuff going on. Uh, so let me increase the number even more. So let me go all the way up to 500 and I do reload. And uh, you can see that it's taking a little bit longer now. And if I look at the server logs, scroll all the way down, it's now 647 milliseconds. Now that's that's getting a little bit outrageous. Well, not a little bit, but very outrageous. Yeah, now it's come down uh, probably because of some caching going on. But generally, this is not a good idea if your if your user is doing a lot of filtering, searching, and you know browsing through your posts. Or suppose supposing that this is a shopping cart and you have thousands of products and you're they're doing filtering through all the the items. You do not want to have this kind of uh, you know of time. You do not want to spend this much time in the database. So uh, there's many ways to solve the n plus one problem. Actually, let me, before that, uh, you know, let me talk about, uh, you know, in the views, I want to show you particularly where the N plus one is coming from. So here we have the index page and I'm just rendering out. So this part is the categories. So basically this is a section up here. Imagine on Amazon, if you have 10,000 products and you want to count how many and, and thousands and, and hundreds of categories and you want to count how many posts, um, you know, each category has. Now we just have four. And uh, if you look at the, the server log, so let me just... Uh, reduce this number a little bit so we can get to the server log a little bit easier. So I'm just going to reload the page so it's quick. Uh, it's just 10 items. But if you look up here, um, four categories translate to four queries. This is not good. Uh, you know, if, what if we have, you know, 20 categories and we have subcategories? You know, each cat each 
uh, uh, query, even though it's quick, it's not good. I mean, there's a better way to do this, right? There's a, there's a way to, to, to get around this problem. So, um, you know, what we're going to do is in this short series, uh, we're going to try and cover everything in, in between three or four episodes, is we're going to show you how to solve all these n plus one problems. So um, let's see the views for the post. So over here, I'm just rendering the post, which is rendering this partial. And then here we have a tag. You're rendering all the tags with the tag post count. So it's just, you know, a, a growing number of queries which are not necessary. So basically, um, the cache is hitting. Uh, over here, you see a lot of cache, cache, cache. Uh, we're hitting the cache uh, the first time that we're counting the posts for each of these tags It's actually doing the query. So for example, if a post has more than three like maybe four or five tags um, This number goes up now uh, right now for each post it's counting uh, one two and three and the next time the same tag is just using the cache that's why you're you're seeing this cache over here so the first time round it's going to have to count this that's one query two query three query for this post and then it's you know it's this now is a new tag it hasn't been counted before so this is another query and uh and so on so you know th there's a lot of unnecessary query and if you know your way around active record and uh, building your own queries or even using some of the cool stuff in active record you can avoid uh, all these n plus one issues and you can have a, uh, an app that runs really really fast and uh, you know it works really really well so I'm gonna go through some of the techniques um, you know uh, basic techniques uh, even if it's just simple as creating a column in the database for example a counter cache should could help alleviate this problem to you know sometimes you can't use an, a counter cache and you need something more uh, you know, more hands-on, more custom. Uh, we're gonna go into that. We're gonna we're gonna show you how to build a custom query using ARL. Uh, so if you never heard of ARL, it's the it's what Active Record uses to to build queries. So ARL Gem. So if you just Google that real quick, you'll see what ARL is, and uh, it's really really cool tool. And uh, uh, Active Record does come with a few tools itself. Um, you know, we're going to talk about three in particular and how you can use that and how you can use a mix and match of all those solutions together to create an app that, you know, is fast and swift and does not have N plus one problem. All right, guys, so that's it for this episode. I hope you guys now understand the kind of problems that Rails app could have. Uh, I know that this N plus one is a big problem and, uh, you know, it's it's I know a lot of apps that have it. So we're going to show you how to fix it in, in this mini series. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you like this series, if you want to see more about N plus one, like those, uh, like the video in YouTube. Uh, we really support, we really appreciate your support and I'll see you guys in the, in the next episode.